What is it, Lieutenant? I guess it's a lot of things, Miss Chairman. Would you care to explain that and what you're doing here? You know, a part of me really didn't want him to head up. You know, Lieutenant, I really don't feel very well. I wonder if you'd mind leaving and then perhaps we can chat some other time. I know you killed Gene Davis. I find you amusing up to a point, Lieutenant, but you've passed that. There's just so many pieces that didn't add up. Hired, I wouldn't go for mine. Why you refused to sell the cottage, that bothered me. Would you kindly get out? I'm just not in the mood for any more of your rambling speculations. I'm here to arrest you for the murder of Gene Davis. Oh, you're not serious. You let the air out of her tire, you stayed to see her get into Parks' car, and then you killed her. I'm afraid I am serious. Why? Why would I do that? I love Gene. The why was very difficult to figure out. Meeting Parks' study Tuesday, June 6th. Do you remember after you admitted juggling the books on the Italian movie and then Mr. Parks intimated he still had something on you? No, Parks probably bluffing. Nevertheless, Chandler on nerve quickly takes drink. Oh, that means nothing. Well, it could mean he had something else to hide. The prop man told me he only drink under pressure. Got a theory here. Nora Chandler has secret. Gene Davis knows secret. There's a motive. I have it written right here. Possible motive. Prevent Gene Davis from revealing secret to Jerry Parks. Oh, you must be desperate, Lieutenant. You have no proof of anything. What is the secrecy key? What is secret? That's what bothered me. Fountain. Why fountain doesn't run? That bothered me. Yeah, that's what started to bother me. Right. That's what fountains are for. Why didn't the water run? Most people like the sound of running water. I do. Well, I don't. Well, that's what I assumed at first. And then I spoke to the head of the property department. You know, they keep incredible records. You know, there's a number at the base of that fountain. I saw it that day that I picked the flower. Anyway, the prop man told me that you ordered the fountain for sentimental reasons. Yes, but I told you. It was from a picture I just finished. September 16th, 1960. That was the day you ordered the fountain. Well, I don't remember the exact day. September 15th, the day before. That was the day your husband disappeared. Now it starts to make some sense. I have a possible explanation for why the fountain doesn't run. In order to lay water pipe, somebody would have to dig up the lawn, wouldn't they? Thank you, Lieutenant. Thank you. Jerry Parks wasn't hurt, was he? No, ma'am. Where'd you get that ring? Barred it. I was just playing lunches. I had nothing to go on. I was just guessing. I had nothing concrete. I just wanted to see what you'd do. And when you came in here, you didn't even turn on the lights, just ran right straight through to the fountain. You know, coincidence, if I hadn't called George, if he hadn't been looking at TV, if it was some other movie, if he hadn't been dressed like a man, because that's when it occurred to me. Twelve years ago, somebody standing on a beach at night saw your husband get in a boat and go out to the ocean. And I remember the photographs, you and your husband, the same height. Could have been you. It was. You see, uh, I, I'm, I married Al because I thought I could, oh, improve myself, you know, my career. Uh, and then I, I, I began to uh, care about the marriage. So when he went playing around, you know, all the starlets, all that bit, while well, it hurt. So I put up with it. I put up with it until uh, one night he brought one of them right in here. And we had a hell of a fight. He argued, fought. And I, 
I struck him with a bottle. I, I, I panicked and I buried him out there. Gene knew. Well, I'll get a coat and we'll go. Just one more thing. <laughs>